On regular show, best buds Mordecai and Rigby try to make their regular, boring jobs into epically awesome adventures. The Emmy Award-winning tune was a fantastic show, with so many can't-miss episodes. I'm Chris Carr. Here are my top five regular show episodes. <laughs> Number five, This Is My Jam. Ever had a song stuck in your head? Well, that's what This Is My Jam is all about, but if you gave that idea to a methed out pop star. While cleaning out the gutter of the house, Rigby finds an old cassette tape, ugh, hipster, for Solid Bold, which features one of Rigby's favorite songs from when he was younger, Summertime Loving, Loving in the Summer, Time. Not long after, Rigby is constantly singing the song, playing the tape, and gets possessed by the cassette tape, obviously. Later, the song takes the physical form of a giant cassette tape with arms and legs. Eventually, the guys write an even more cheesetastic song, Aw Snap, to defeat the cassette. It's like a blueprint on how to remove Despacito from your noggin. Number four, Terror Tales of the Park 3. Horrifying Halloween episodes are nothing new, but regular show has managed to make their Terror Tales insanely fun. My personal favorite? The third installment, Terror Tales of the Park 3. The cast takes turns celebrating Halloween by sharing spooky stories in order to win a pot of everyone's Halloween candy. This episode features three stories, Killer Bed, Jacked Up Jack-O-Lantern, and the previous owner. Killer Bed is about a murderous bed that Rigby buys, Jacked Up features Mordecai, Rigby, Muscle Man, and High Five Ghost pumpkins bashing. And in previous owner, Benson shares how a soul possessed the park house. Spooky! Number three, a 150-piece kit. I think the greatest thing about a 150-piece kit is that we get a glimpse at a more fleshed-out Benson. He's not just a crotchety park manager gumball machine who hates his employees. He's a seasoned rocker with mad skills. But he was replaced by a mechanized drummer. Him playing that seemingly impossible drum solo, oh, Maze balls, you get it? Balls, like gumballs. God, I am sorry guys, that was just terrible. Number two, L.O. Governor. I'm a huge wimp when it comes to scary movies, but an evil English taxi, pass. I guess that would be terrifying though if you're scared of all things British like Rigby, which is odd that he shares a name with one of the Beatles' greatest songs. When he rented this black and white horror flick, L.O. Governor, things definitely took a turn. This episode is a fantastic example of the show running with a bizarre concept and horror theme and making it really work. A lot of other tunes wouldn't be able to pull it off. And finally, number one, Rigby's graduation day special. Rigby was never much of an achiever on the show, constantly slacking about and seemingly satisfied with where he was in life. Over time, Rigby grew into a character who did want more and wanted to be better. In the seventh season, Rigby finally graduated from high school. This was some fantastic character growth showing Rigby wanting what was not only best for him, but for Eileen, and also served as a catalyst to get Mordecai looking at his own life. Wonderful, grounded work. Then we launched the cast into space because regular show! Of course, these are just a handful of the 261 episodes, so let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments below. And hey, while you're there, why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Carr. See you, Space Cowboy.